Okay, I'm gonna now I'm gonna move you guys up closer to the TV. So sorry to move my hand in your face there, but uh, so you can see kind of what the interface looks like to this program. And uh, so you can see that it's working there. Looks like it's properly synced. Yeah. And it should be properly mixing the audio. Um, I'll have to, what I'll have to do is I'll have to do a test run to see, uh, maybe I'll just stop it now and I'll look at the video that it produced. So I'm gonna go into the folder and uh, look at the video that was produced. This was it, I think. Oh, the, I don't think the audio's on. I mean, let me get the, this thing, let me turn the volume up. Either that or the, for some reason, the audio's not coming out. So what I need to do is I need to increase the volume of my of my video recording. So it looks properly synced. So I need to go into the, I'll do it from down here. I'll go into video sequence editor and I'll go into this strip. This is the black strip is the, is the video. I'm pretty sure this is the video. Yeah, that's the video. So I'll go in there and I select the this strip. And I have to go in a second time. And it is the it's this green strip. That's the that's the volume. And so then I go up to volume and I I blow it for three and then try the audio near i think that will do it let me see and then i'll go ahead and save it a second time and you can also keyframe the volume if you want any of these buttons up here can be keyframed um that's the cool thing about blenders anything pretty much everything can be keyframed um so which is different from a lot of other programs and the reason why and Blender is so popular among users, not only because it's free, but it has a different viewpoint, a, a different idea of how to do things. And that is, is to make everything possible. I mean, and and the, the blend files contain everything in it, in one blend file. And if you send the blend file to a friend and they load it up in their program, they're gonna see everything that you saw and so um, it makes collaboration a lot easier. So, and it's been doing that from day one. And that's what makes it really tough to compete against. So where just Jeff Bezos is on one end of the spectrum, he's innovating and he's pushing down the big boys on that end. Uh, Ton Rosendahl's doing the opposite. He's not, he's not a commercial entity. He's a, he's a non profit entity who's doing the same thing with freeware. He's busting up all the competition um, through innovation, not so much innovation, but he's actually he's actually taking the best of the least of what you need in order to do um, to do work and to do 3D graphics or just media work, uh, video editing work. And so rather than competing with Adobe Premiere trying to do everything Premiere does, it does what you need essentially without doing all the bells and whistles. It does essentially what you need to do what Pixar does. And they've proven it by putting out animations that use the Blender software. And so he's on another extreme of how to, how to revolutionize, how to change the world. And... Um, I'm just, you know, it's just inspiration, you know, 
and I'm not, I'm of the viewpoint that you don't need capitalism to change the world. Um, and that's Tun's point of view is that you don't really need capitalism to change the world. You just need to have put up good idea, get ideas and put them out before people and try to get people driven, you know? And uh, so anyhow, this whole program was uh, inspired um, by the need to have a program when he couldn't afford to have a program. Um, the software he was looking at cost $5,000 a license and he didn't want to pay $5,000 a license for the software. He would rather buy hardware because the hardware is something that you can't very easily get for, for nothing and, uh, or even for a very small cost. And software for, at that time, for some reason, wanted to be as much as the hardware was, which didn't just make any sense to him. So he strove to write up his own. And, you know, 20 years later, uh, it's now probably one of the most, it is the most popular 3D application in existence. 